Hi everyone, this is Nathalie from natalie.com and today we're going to talk about how to overcome camera shyness and if you don't mind I'm just gonna stay off camera for that. Just kidding. Who says you cannot be camera shy and have fun? But seriously I was rehearsing for this to tell you what you're gonna find in this video and to put it bluntly, I could use big words to say what camera shyness feels like. But basically, the easiest way I've found is just to say that it sucks. Camera shyness sucks because you just cannot do what you want to do. You just want to go out there, be in front of the camera, have fun with everyone else. You don't want to hide every time someone takes out a camera. You want to make those videos and it just doesn't happen. So if you are fed up of being camera shy and if you are ready to explore a way that can help you overcome it, then stay for the rest of this video because I can promise you by the end of this video, you will experience a big aha moment and this will be a game changer for you. Going back to what it feels like to be camera shy. Um, how do I know what it feels like? Well, I was camera shy for pretty much as long as I can remember. So I, I know what it's like to hide every time someone takes out a camera and to just be sweating and getting red in the face when you have to do it, whether it's for work, for school or for family reunion. And I also know what it's like to tell your friends that you are going to make those videos. Uh, my husband has been telling me for, had been telling me for three years that I had to make videos. And I was, yeah, just saying, I'm working on it, you know, I'm, I'm busy with other things, I'm building a website, I am studying, I'm learning, I'm taking some, uh, some courses to learn how to do that. But it didn't happen. And uh, it didn't feel good. It felt like I was lying to myself. I was denying that this was much bigger. And if Every time someone has pushed you to do that, whether in school or at work or anywhere else for a training, if you find yourself running away, like taking, taking one step forward and then three steps backwards, then you are in the right place. By the end of this video, as I said, you will understand where this is coming from and what you can do about it. You will feel more understanding, more empowerment, <sighs> you'll breathe. You will just finally breathe when you need to be on camera. Yes, you're going to be nervous. And, uh, <laughs> and I was pretty nervous before starting this video. Um, but at the same time, that type of nervousness, that type, that level of nervousness, is nothing compared to the total anxiety attack you feel when you are camera shy and you have to be in front of the camera. Because what happens when you need to be in front of the camera is an anxiety attack. Your nervous system is just overtaking your whole body, your whole mind with, with all the um, the stress response, um, you know, the, the stress response uh, system, the fight, flight or freeze. And this is stronger than anything that you can try to logically understand. Even if you have a very strong willpower, this is not going to be enough. And you know this, I mean, if willpower was enough, you would not be watching this video. You would be making those videos. And um, so I want you to stay until the end of this video 
I want you to give it a shot. You owe it to yourself. You deserve it. This video I make as a gift to you. I've spent hours preparing for it and this is my gift to you. So watch it. Watch it again if you need to, if one round is not enough, if by the end of this video you feel you still need to work on it, then watch it again. Um, I'm going to make follow-up videos on this, so subscribe to my channel, obviously. Um, if you feel that you get something from this video, like it, write in the comments. You'll see in the second part of the video when we go through the process of understanding and over well starting to heal the, the source the, the root of this fear I'm going to ask you questions if you feel like sharing them with me and with the rest of, uh, of the, uh, the viewers please write them in the, in the comments if you would like to experience this live I am going to speak this coming Sunday at a fundraiser in Brussels and I'm going to do this process live. So I will put all the information about all this in the, um, in the description of the video below. You can, um, if you would like me to accompany you, if you feel that watching this video is good, but you would like to go a step further and you would like someone to actually accompany you to do that, send me an email and uh, we can work something out. I can coach you on this. I can accompany you on this. And uh, we are going to use a method to start healing the root cause of this fear. And this method is called tapping. If you would like to learn more about tapping and see what it can do for you, I strongly encourage you. If you are watching this video uh, before the end of the tapping summit, which is, um, I think around the, maybe the 10th or the 12th of March, I'll put the information again in the description. I strongly encourage you to sign up for it. And then I want to um, credit someone called Margaret Lynch for the process that I'm going to walk you through now. I, um, I, I um, experienced this process in one of her webinars and I want to credit her and honor her for it. So if you would like to um, explore further what she has to offer, if you would like to do some work with her, uh, I know she's hosting this three day event in the United States at the end of March, 2019. Um, if you're interested, I'm going to put the link also in the description below. So what is um, this fear that we feel when we are facing the camera. I want you to imagine that you are on the Titanic. And you are on the Titanic when the Titanic is going down. And you have to choose between going to the safety boat, the lifeboat, or going to make a video. What would you choose? This is no rocket science. Pretty much everyone I know, <laughs> including me now, I would choose to go for the lifeboat. Survival is more important than just, you know, making a video. And um, why is our body reacting this way? Why is our body reacting like the Titanic is going down every time we have to be in front of the camera? Why? And this is where I would like to invite you to put on your explorer hat and join me for a visualization. This is going to be safe. It's going to be short, but it's going to be powerful. So um, that's why I said, if you want to do this several times, you know, do what feels right for you, because this is going to be very powerful. And uh, for this visualization, I would like to invite you to take a deep breath. And I would like you to close your eyes. And 
once you have your eyes closed, it works better to imagine with your eyes closed, I would like you to imagine yourself as a child, a three, four, five year old, picture yourself, picture yourself in a room where you used to live and um, picture also your parents in the same room and any other caregivers, your grandparents, if you were very close, your grandparents, you may also want to picture your brothers and sisters, your siblings. And I want you to look at this child and feel how this child is feeling already in the presence of your parents and siblings and grandparents and try to evaluate on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being very anxious and 1 being comfortable. Evaluate on the scale from 1 to 10 how this child feels. And right now, this is just you being in presence of your uh, parents, of your family at the time. We haven't put any story into this yet. And then I would like you to imagine yourself now walking into this picture as a visitor. And I would like you to walk to the child, to you as a child, and tell the child, go on, stand on the coffee table and tell everyone, look at me, look at me, I'm special, look at me. I want you to focus on this and connect with the feelings of the child. How does the child respond responds to this? Is the child excited about this? Is the child saying no? Is the child resisting? I would like you to observe what happens. How do the adults in the room behave? How do they respond? to the child, how do the siblings respond to that child? What is happening? What is this child saying to you? Is he or she saying, yeah, great, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have fun? Or is he or she saying, um, no way, no. And if that child is saying no to you, I would like you to see if that child is saying no because. What would happen if that child was getting onto the coffee table and shouting to everyone, look at me, look at me, I'm special, I'm so special. Try to connect with that and uh, evaluate it on a scale from 1 to 10. Once you have done that, I would like you to come back. You can open your eyes again and realize how much of a aha moment this was. This is the reason, this is what happens every time someone tries, when you try to be in front of the camera, this little child, all the messages this little child got from your parents, from your family, is imprinted in your nervous system. And this is what is running your nervous system now. And every time you have this response, this anxiety response of being on the Titanic, 
while the Titanic is going down, this is this little child taking over. So I would like you to take a few seconds to process that, to process what you felt during this visualization and realize that This is who is running the show for you at the moment when you try to be in front of the camera. You are not being silly. You are not being weak. You are not being illogical. You are just, your, your nervous system is just taking over to protect you. Because whatever would happen at that moment, if that child did not feel safe, because something would happen, did she make it up or was it for real? Did she or he have really good reasons to, to say that they would get scolded, that they would get um, criticized, that maybe they would even get verbally attacked or physically attacked were they making this up or did they have good reason to believe this was going to happen so when your nervous system is taking over this is not in your imagination for your nervous system the danger is real and as a human being if we break the rules from the family and we are rejected from our family and we are abandoned from by our family this is death your nervous system your inner child is doing this to protect you from death so that's the first big aha moment that i wanted to help you experience and uh, for me, when I found this out, I had so much more compassion for myself, for my inner child. I had so much more understanding of the depth of the challenge. And it really shifted my vision on the issue. And at the same time, understanding this is still not enough yet to overcome that fear of being in front of the camera. So what I would like to do with you now is use this method called tapping, which is a, a method, a very simple method you can do anywhere that is linking the mind and the body by calming down the nervous system and the idea behind tapping is that you're going to we are going to tap together on certain points of the uh, of our body and different people tap different points in different orders it doesn't really matter what really matters is that uh, we focus on um, of what we're trying to um, to help to overcome and in this case we're going to be tapping on what happened to this child so here we go we're gonna start here you can follow me you can open your eyes and follow me and once you know the points you can close your eyes if you want it's your choice you can do one side or both sides it doesn't really matter all right let's take a deep breath and we're going to start tapping on um, what we saw during that visualization. <sighs> there I am. As a young child. And I'm totally scared. The fear, the anxiety, maybe even the tears.
I'm looking at the root. Of where my fear, my illogical fear, my inner resistance comes from. Because the truth is, standing out like that. As a child would have felt really dangerous. It actually was dangerous. I might have been punished, criticized, shamed knocked over, hit, I would have been embarrassed, I would have been told, who do you think you are? I would have been stopped, I would have been ignored, criticized, dismissed, treated like I was being bratty, treated like I was being bad. that even wanting to do that was bad. Never mind getting up there and actually doing it. Just bad. And in my system, At that age, I didn't have the words. I didn't have the rational mind. But I knew what bad felt like. And it didn't feel good. It really didn't feel good. And that little child still lives in me. And that little child needs to be understood by me. And that little child needs healing. All right, let's take a deep breath. This was the first round of uh, tapping. We tapped specifically on uh, what you saw during the visualization. And for some people, that uh, round of tapping can be enough. For some people, um, you're going to need more rounds of tapping. I personally, um, I did, oh, how many rounds of tapping I did? I tapped about my reaction to my mother uh, in relationship with my mother then i did another round on my relationship to my father i also did a round on my relationship to um 
not just speaking in front of my family, but speaking in front of a bigger audience with my parents. And, uh, and I did another round with my brother. I mean, with my brother, you, you know what I mean about the, my little child's reaction to getting up on the table uh, in relationship to my brother. So that's why I invite you to watch this video several times if you need it. And um, we, we are going to do a, a second round of tapping. And this time we're going to tap on the big aha moment that you uh, experienced. And um, yes, let's, uh, let's do that. If you, if you see me look down sometimes, it's because um, I, I have taken a few notes and I, I read those notes sometimes. Uh, so take another big uh, deep breath. Um, actually, just before we, we do that, if you can try to reconnect to the picture you had of that child uh, after the first round of tapping and evaluate on a scale from 1 to 10 how she or he is feeling, we can already do that. Um, I, I will do another video with more details about my visualization and what, what I saw because I think it can be very helpful um, for some of you who are interested in that. But basically, when I, I did actually two rounds of tapping just about my mom. And the, after the first round, I had my little child respond to me walking in as a visitor saying, I'm not going doing this, you know, but go talk to my mom. If you talk to my mom and she says yes, then I can do it. And so my little child had me go and talk to my mom and explain what was happening, that we were, you know, like trying to heal this. And uh, so, you know, just uh, follow your own intuition, follow your own imagination. Whatever works for you is right. Whatever helps you is right. There's no right or wrong here. Everything is right. Anything that helps is right. But I am going to share more with you about this in a, another video. And um, yes, <laughs> so I don't want to make this video um, too long. So we're going to do a, a second round of tapping. This one as um, on the big aha moment we, we experienced. So take a deep breath again. And then we're going to start tapping again. So repeat um, with me and, and tap with me. The inner child who lives in you, who is so afraid of being seen, who takes over I totally honor this part of me. I'm open to loving, understanding this side of me. I'm open to feeling it in my adult body. Maybe just a little bit of her fear and her grief. Because this is the side of me that is more afraid than I've realized. No matter how strong I am,
no matter how much I've accomplished. This is the side of me who has more tears than I've realized. And I totally honor her. This side of me who is more sad than I knew. This is the side of me that had to hide in some way to be safe. This is the side of me that learned to follow all the rules. Rules about not acting too big. It's more afraid than I've realized. And my desire to put myself out there represents a huge and scary risk. As illogical as that sounds, I totally honor this little child. She needs my love. She needs my understanding. She needs to be hugged. and held and loved. She probably needs a good cry because when children are scared, often there's tears with that. And I'm just going to honor that. All of this is running my nervous system. Regardless of how smart I am, regardless of my mission, regardless of my skills, regardless of anything else I've tried, my nervous system is running me and it needs healing. <sighs> Take a deep breath. And uh, yeah, we've just stepped into our big aha moment that also uh, is meant to calm the, the nervous system. And um, when you watch this video again, take as much time as you need, as I said before. And um, I, I sincerely hope you now have a, a better understanding of where this is coming from. I hope you have a more gentle outlook on yourself for reacting and acting the way you do when you are um, facing the, the challenge of being in front of the camera. 
and uh, I sincerely hope you're going to continue with the, the healing. Um, I invite you to watch my uh, next videos where I'm going to share more about uh, my personal experiences with this type of visualization and um, do, do whatever feels right for you. Some people like journaling about this, other people just like sharing it with a friend, other people keep it for themselves, do whatever feels right for you. I, um, I just want to really honor you for showing up for this and honor you for, um, for yeah, just, just, uh, giving it a try. And, uh, despite the lighting, I know <laughs> I, I absolutely wanted to do this video today. And even though my camera is broken, you may have noticed somewhere there's some a shadow even though the light is not right I just felt that I had to do it today that um, I've been promising this video to some of you and uh, no matter what it takes I like to keep my promises even if it's not as perfect as uh, you would want to have it on YouTube you really have my heart. My heart is in this video and my heart goes out to you because I know what you're going through and I want you to be free from this. I want you to be able to really experience what it's like to finally, finally record these videos that you've been wanting to record for all this time. And, um, Yes, my heart goes out to you. I honor you. I send you lots of love and, and support. And let me know how this is this has been for you. Let me know what else you would like me to do in my videos for you Rel related to this uh, camera shyness, tapping. Um, give me some suggestions. I I'm here to serve you. Thank you. Bye-bye.